The biggest thing is it has to be speculative because that's how you make the big leaps forward. It has to be seen as something that can't be done before you can make it to something that can be done. And, you know, yes, there might be something that's way too far-fetched and can't actually, isn't realistic. But if you put the right team together and get the right people together, I think it's something that, you know, can be done and, you know, take those wild ideas so that way you can push science forward. After I finished all my spinal cord rehab that was kind of the status quo of treatment at the time, I was pushing for more because I wasn't happy with where I was at. That first day, it really just reinforced everything that we had been working towards. And, you know, it was a small movement that I was able to control, just, you know, a slight hand open. But that was the huge light at the end of the tunnel that I'm looking forward to of one day regaining full control of my hand. And at that time, it was once we saw that this concept does work. And I remember distinctly looking over at the doctors and researchers saying, okay, now it's time for you guys to really get to work. It's certainly a, a huge challenge to try to restore movement to a paralyzed limb. And that's why you need the expertise from all the different types of disciplines that we've worked with. And it's been pretty exciting knowing that I can take ideas to the team and those ideas will be valued. And you know, then I can get someone a lot smarter than me to actually say, okay, how are we gonna figure this out? We've experienced quite a bit of you know, unintended consequences that are very beneficial. I've been able to retrain my brain and learn to use some of the muscles that I do have control over after my spinal cord injury to really impact my quality of life and my daily life. There's a lot of things that I can do now that I could not do when the study started, even without the system being on. So it really it does have a higher purpose than just getting a job done. I know at some point the study's gonna come to an end and you know that will be kind of a a down day for me because I've enjoyed all the work that I've been able to do the last few years. But I can be comforted in the fact that all the work that we have done will lead to quite a few new developments. There is you know, something to be said about being the only person to ever do something. That's hard to wrap your head around, um, but you know, it is something that I am very appreciative of. And you know, I think the team in general has also realized that they're a part of something that's never been done before, which you, know, you can't take for granted because it is something that's very special. And we're leaving our mark on future generations, which is, you know, I think what everyone should be on this planet to do.